Ah, the ocean. A vast body of water full of salt that covers over 75% of Earth's surface. Crazy thing about the ocean is that there are more artifacts about human history inside of it than there are in any museum combined. Plus, there's pretty freaking weird creatures inside of it too. I mean, have any of you ever heard of pyrosomes? I have. I I've heard. Of, I've heard of pyrosomes. Who the fuck are you? Pyrosomes are these little tiny organisms that basically clone themselves, stick together, and repeat this process. When they repeat this process, they basically keep growing and growing and growing until they resemble that of a giant condom. Yeah, it's kind of a weird animal. But have you guys seen this one? Oh my god, it's so cute, I wanna die! It's actually a type of octopus that is freaking adorable, hence the name. Adorabilis. Honestly, I love this creature. It is freaking cute as crap. It's an octopus, and octopuses are really smart. Octopi? Octopuses. They're really smart. And how could you not like this little guy? Look at him. Look at him. Look at- LOOK AT HIM! Look Did you know that phytoplankton actually make up most of our oxygen? Thank you, plankton! Here's the Krabby Patty secret formula. We don't really need it. We don't like, you know, soggy cheeseburgers. Honestly, I love the ocean. There are so many beautiful aspects about it. There are so many cool creatures that live in it, and it's just a cool place that I'd love to learn more about. But, as beautiful as it is, with every positive, there is a negative. And what I mean by that is that, well, you know, it can also be the most terrifying place on the freaking planet. Now, you're probably sitting on the toilet wondering, Adam, I don't understand why it's so scary. <laughs> what the f- Well, you butt nugget, I'll tell ya. Okay, first off, we've only explored like less than 5% of it, meaning that most of it is completely uncharted. We know more about the moon and Mars than we do our own planet. Since we know so little about it, who knows what type of freaking monsters live inside of it? For all we know, there could be a giant freaking baby just taking a nap, sleepy times, and then eh, eh, it's angry, and it goes destroy Tokyo. Adam, the man who is afraid of giant monster babies coming out of the ocean. Well, have you guys heard of the freaking bloop? If you guys haven't, here's what it sounds like. Does that not sound like a giant scary baby? Actually, they did end up coming to a conclusion that it was just two giant icebergs colliding together. But, if it was a creature, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be like, you know, a baby-like giant monster. But it was- it would probably would have been something scurry. <laughs> and fun fact about Adam, I'm actually kind of scared of going on cruise ships, even though I'd probably never be able to afford one. But if I were ever to be able to somehow go on one, I would most likely be terrified throughout the entire trip, worrying about rogue waves. Rogue waves are basically these giant freaking waves that are able to take down an entire cruise ship and destroy it. Granted, it does have to be very stormy, but you know, if it was drizzling and I was on a cruise ship, I would be terrified. Now I'm gonna jump on the topic of creatures. There are cool creatures that live in the ocean, but don't you dare for a second. Forget about those DANG FREAKING SCARY ONES THAT LIVE IN THERE TOO! For example, sharks, gulper eels, anglerfish, whatever this thing is, the blobfish! And no, oh, <laughs> don't you dare forget about the most terrifying one of them all! Orcas. Freaking orcas! You know those big cuddly fish that are at SeaWorld and they do tricks and stuff and yada yada, kids love them? I think they're freaking terrifying! A lot of people think these things are freaking innocent, but they have a reputation. They are literally called killer whales. They go out of their way to kill and eat the gentle giants of the sea. Even though if I saw one, I would most likely poop my pants out of fear. But the thing that makes me super uncomfortable with these animals is that they don't just kill their food. They first torture it. Sometimes they don't even eat their kill after they torture it. I believe there was a documentary that actually showed a group of killer whales just tossing around baby seals for fun, resulting in the baby seals actually dying. And they didn't even eat it afterwards. What a waste of food. Now you're probably thinking, Adam, I don't think these are as scary as great white sharks. Shut up. These things can literally kill great white sharks if they wanted to. Now, killer whales aren't necessarily more aggressive, but if you manage to piss it off, then you're in for a freaking treat because I would rather take on a freaking shark than a killer whale. Now, let's say you're in a kayak just having a good time fishing and whatnot, and then all of a sudden you see a freaking great white coming towards you. All you gotta do is get a pointy stick and jab it a couple times and eventually it'll go away. Cause they're stupid. Now same scenario, but you see a pissed off killer whale coming towards you. You're done for. Doesn't matter what you do, you're done for because those things are freaking smart. They'll know to go underneath the kayak, push it up, knock you out of it, and then take you out. Their intelligence is honestly the scariest aspect 
of them, which is why I'm so scared of them. They have brains and bronze. That's freaking terrifying. So in conclusion, orcas are terrifying, the ocean is terrifying, everything's terrifying. Okay, that's not true. I do like the ocean. I'm not that scared of it, but I am very scared of it. I do want to learn more about it. So yeah. Now if you love the ocean, don't let any of this discourage you, cause honestly the ocean is a freaking beautiful place, and it's freaking awesome. Plus, all the scary stuff that happened, or that I talk about, is very rare, so, I mean, yeah. I, I gotta keep talking, because I wanna make sure I can show as much fan art as I can in the end card, and blah blah blah. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and comment down below, you know, stories that happen to you at the beach or in the ocean. I'd love to hear them, whether or not they're scary or cool. That'd be awesome. Also, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Well, I will see you in the next one.